What's up, Calc gang? So today we're going to do some of my favorite problems in all of Calc 3, and that is using traces to sketch and identify a surface. So I don't know why this is fun. I think I just like drawing or something. Maybe I'm just an art student at heart. But this is kind of fun, and uh, I'm going to show you how to do these. So it gives us this formula, 4x squared plus 9y squared plus 9z squared is equal to 36. So, I mean, you might look at that and you might be like, oh man, I don't know how to draw that. But what you can do is you can split it up into parts, basically. So here we have the xy plane. So what do we know about the xy plane? Well, it's true that zero, z is equal to zero on the xy plane, right? Because it's just where x and y have any values, but that's where z is equal to zero. So we can even rewrite this equation, right? So we have four x squared plus nine y squared plus zero is equal to 36. All right, pretty cool. So now we're looking at this, and um, if you don't know that this is an equation of a sphere or an ellipse, um, if it if these were if it had no constants, it'd be a circle. But because there's constants, it's an ellipse. So I'm going to show you how to figure out what it is. So if you divide by 36, when you get to the, an equation like this, you want to have a one on the other side. So let's divide by 36. So four divided by 36. What is that? Hmm. So that's going to be x squared over four divided by 36. Why am I being stupid right now? That's going to be 9, right? So it's going to be 9. Plus 9 divided by 36 is 4, so it's going to be squared over 4 is equal to 1. So now we can go even further. We can say x squared over 3 squared plus y squared over 2 squared is equal to 1. And now what we can see here is because x squared is over 3 squared, the x-intercepts are going to be a 3, so it's going to be 1, 2, 3, and 1, 2, 3, negative 3. So this is where it's going to intercept the x-axis, and same thing for y, it's going to be a 2 and negative 2. So this is 2, and this is negative 2. So this is what our thing is going to look like on the x, y, c. Okay, so we have an ellipse, and we can actually just get over here and draw that. So it intercepts a 3, so like 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 2. So this is going to be a sketchy drawing, but boom, that's what it looks like on the yz plane. So let's do it again for the xz plane. Once again, we're going to have 4x squared plus 0 plus 9z squared is equal to 36. Now we're actually, this is the exact same as the yz plane, except the y's are replaced with z instead this time. So it's going to be the same. If you follow the same steps, so you can go ahead and do it at home if you want. You're going to get the same thing. The x-intercepts are going to be a 3 and the z-intercepts are going to be a 2. And negative two. All right, one, two, one, two. Uh, so this is the xz. So it's going to be. Ooh, that's not great. Hurt my drawing skills. I'm a lot better on paper. All right, now we go to the yz plane. So now we're going to have that nine y squared plus nine z squared is equal to thirty six. Divide by thirty six on both sides. You're going to get y squared over. 4 plus uh, z squared over 4 is equal to 1. Do the same thing where you split it up into 2, so it's going to be x intercepts at 2 and 2. So this is just going to be a normal circle with a radius of 2. Right? And uh, do a better job labeling your axes and stuff. But uh, so actually, what we found already is like you didn't even need to do this last one because you see that you already have your x and z intercepts at the xz plane. You already know what it's going to look like. But for fun's sake, if you draw it, it's going to be like that. And so boom. So uh, it looks really ugly, but you can kind of see it's a football shape where it's like three long on the X and then two long on the Z and Y. So yeah, that's how you solve these kind of problems. Uh, keep doing them, they're pretty fun and you'll get the hang of them. And actually what's gonna happen soon is that you'll just look at this and you'll just do it in your head. And you're like, I know exactly what this uh, ellipse so it's gonna look like. So yeah, this is an ellipse, by the way. But uh, yeah, that's how you solve these kind of problems. And uh, good luck on your calc homework.